welcome back to Glow with Candace. Sorry I have been gone the last week. I apologize. We've been so busy. We added another puppy to our pack. Um, another Siberian Husky. He is nine weeks old. We got him when he was eight weeks. And my mom, I have mentioned in for like past videos, um, she raises Siberian Huskies. So I've been fortunate to get a couple from her. Uh, also in that video, I'll leave the link up above here. We have Eska, who's my girl. I love her so dearly. And then now we have Zar. The name is Russian and my mom likes to keep the names Russian to go with hand in hand because the Siberian Huskies are descendants from Russia. That's where they originated from. So he is an absolutely sweetie. I love him, but I forgot how hard it is to have a puppy, especially a Siberian Husky. Um, he's very sweet, but he does get into trouble. And it's been extra hard too because we just spayed Eska. Literally the day that we brought him home, the next day, we had to get Eska spayed. And we've already rescheduled that appointment three different times due to her coming into her second heat and then the whole COVID thing. Um, vet offices were closed. And then we didn't realize we were getting Czar until a few weeks prior. And she already had the appointment. I was like, we're gonna do it. So it's been really hard because they want to play so bad. I let them play both on leashes under supervision where they can just mouth each other and not do anything too strenuous. And now that Eska has been spayed for almost a week now, um, it's a little bit more lenient, but I still have to be careful for another week. So it's been hard because I just want them to play together. And it's also difficult because pottying them at separate times and yes, so, but he is absolutely adorable. Let me show you. All right, everybody, I've been a little bit not available because I've been busy with this little guy. This is Zar. Hi, Zar. As you can see, he has two colored eyes. He is a nine week old Siberian Husky puppy from my mom who raises them. He's been keeping us busy. And of course, Eska, our other Siberian Husky, she got spayed right when we got him and it was delayed, unfortunately because of a few different things. She came into heat, and then the whole COVID thing. And then we didn't realize we were getting him until recently and she had already had her appointment set and I said, nope, we're just gonna get it done. So they've been keeping their distance, unfortunately. Czar, oh. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten quite a few the last few days and I'm super stoked that you guys are liking my videos and I can't wait to keep sharing more with all of you. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the new Lorac highlighter palette, of course, because I love highlighters. It's the Diamond Lux palette, so I'm super excited. Haven't opened it yet, haven't swatched it. I didn't even put highlighter on this morning, so we're gonna put it on now and you're gonna see it in real life. Let's do this. This is the outer packaging. I love how it looks pretty classy and slick to me, like Lux Diamond. Yes, I get that vibe. I bought this palette the day it was released on the Lorac website for $35. I could not wait to get my hands on this. So I've actually had it for a few days, but I've just been so busy with the new puppy that I just haven't had time to film until, well, today. Outer packaging looks similar to the very outer packaging. Um, I still think this is classy and slick looking. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is so shim, oh my gosh, you guys. This is so shimmery. I am so excited to swatch these and wear this and share with you. I have bought Lorac highlighters before and I love them. And I'm super excited because if the formula is the same from the ones that I have bought, I'm gonna be obsessed. So, oh my gosh. Um, so here, the names aren't on the back, so I'm just gonna be good. So we have Kawhi right over here. We have Saint Lucia, we have Capri, down here we have St. Tropez, Tumley, and Bali. So really pretty colors. Oh. This is very shimmery. I can't tell if you guys can tell, but I cannot wait to swatch these. I am an I'm starstruck. That's probably my best way to describe this. I'm starstruck. Yeah, I'm excited to share this with you guys. 
So I'm going to do swatches now. <laughs> Look how pigmented this is. That is so shimmery. Here are these beautiful swatches. You guys, look how I hardly had to put my finger in the pan and look how beautiful these are, okay? So very creamy, very buttery, very pigmented, totally worth $35. I mean, you're getting six beautiful colors. I cannot wait to apply this for you guys and show you what it looks like on the face. I'll probably use a couple different colors. I just can't get over how beautiful this is. I hope you guys can really appreciate how pigmented and shimmery these highlighters are. I'm obsessed with highlighters and I can appreciate a beautiful highlighter and this is a must have, especially if you don't have a whole lot of highlighters and you're looking for a great palette that gives you a few different colors and good quality. Because if you think about it, if you buy just a single pan of a highlighter, it can range up to $25, maybe even more, depending on the brand that you buy. This, Lorac has never disappointed me. I love their eyeshadow, I love their highlighters, and this palette, the Lux Diamond, you guys, I just can't. You have to buy this. I haven't even put it on my face yet, and I'm telling you, you have to buy this. It's swatched so beautiful. Once again, just another look at these beautiful swatches. I really can't get enough of these. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna apply my highlighter. Um, the two places that I like to apply my highlighter is right up above on my cheekbone here, above my blush, and I also like to do my brow bone. It also makes a nice transitioning um, from my eyeshadow, so that's why I like to do that. I know some people will do the tip of their nose, like on the rim here, and some by their lip there. Today, I'm just gonna do the two, and I'll use two different colors, so that way you guys can see a couple of the colors, okay? So I think I'm gonna use, um, to go with the, I think I'm gonna use this ba Bali, Bali. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Bali color um, for by my cheek. Yeah, I'm gonna use it for by my cheek, so on my cheekbone. Oh my goodness. You guys see that shimmer, right? That was with just going in once with my brush. Look how beautiful that is. Can't, I can't even, I am almost speechless. Like, Lorac has always impressed me, but I'm pretty, pretty happy right now. Like, I want everyone to buy this palette. This is beautiful. And I feel like the colors are very complimenting to a lot of different skin tones. So it'll be great on anybody. So now I'm gonna apply to my other side here. You guys. And that was just going over it once. I'm gonna go over it again just to kind of like show you like how pigmented it can get. That is just beautiful. If you appreciate highlighters like I do, you will be obsessed with this palette. I'm not even kidding. So now for up above, um, I should say below my brow bone, right up above my eye, I think I'm gonna go in with this Capri color. It's a beautiful, like lighter color. So it'll be nice to highlight up there by the brow bone. Oh my, that's so pretty. <gasps> It's so pigmented, there was a little like powder of dust I, that came off when I was applying it with my brush. So this color is called Capri. It's 
It's a beautiful light gold color. Wow, I love it. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is with a second, um, going over a second time. This is just going over with just the one breath, uh, brush stroke. And then here I dipped into the pan twice just to kind of show you guys you know, based on applying how pigmented it is, but honestly, with one stroke, it's already pigmented. When I'm gonna buy a product, I want it to be great and well worth its price, and this palette does not disappoint. I want everyone to go out and buy this Lux Diamond Lorac palette. This is amazing. I think this palette works well with a lot of different skin types and skin tones, so I think this is a great buy, especially if you're just like, starting out in highlighters and you don't really know what colors you want to use this is a great go-to palette a lot of different colors that you can play with but they're not wild and crazy and they can be an everyday look i think this is a definite buy i cannot recommend this enough and honestly lorac highlighters in general are just some of my favorites i have um a couple other i have one other palette and then i have a couple just single pans um that I really like and now I love this palette. And you can see as I'm talking to you guys, the, just the glow, it's beautiful. Once again, I bought this for $35 on the Lorac website. I really don't know where else it's gonna be available. It is pretty new. It only has been out for, I wanna say, close to maybe two weeks now. Um, very, very new, but very affordable. And I mean, hey, you get six different colors for 35 and these two are a little bit bigger pans and then these four are a very good size. So, um, yeah, this palette, please go buy. Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candice. I hope you enjoyed this review on the new Lorac Lux Diamond Highlighter Palette. If you like what you saw, please give me a like down below with a thumbs up. And if you're new here and wanna see future videos like this and more, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But until next time, bye.